my dear students welcome back to this mini hs school i believe you are all happy and safe at home once again welcome you all back to this english class so today we are going to complete the remaining portions and i'm going to deal with that worksheet part that i gave you as a holiday homework so we are going to complete that worksheet part and then i'm going to say a little bit instructions about our midterm exam it's a midterm exam so it is going to be a little more professional than the previous exams we conducted through google form all so i'm going to give a little bit instruction about that and finally self assessment part i'm going to detail it about after that please send me that please send me your own self assessment part then it will be helpful for me to complete the revision portions accordingly okay clear so let's move into our class as we know before getting to our class we have a warm up exercise so uh, let's go into our today's warm up exercise today's warm up exercise is brainstorming and how to connect that brainstorming with our english classes actually i'm going to give some kind of compound words clear so today's brainstorming is like let me explain it first you are going to find a word so what am i am going to give is like a picture and letters picture plus letters is equal to a word for example um, let's think like that i'm going to give a green color plus board green color plus board so what's the answer yeah the picture is actually green plus board green board so the answer is you got the word green board clear so this is how you are going to connect the word so shall i display yes so the first word for you picture let us is equal to what or let us picture is equal to what second word third word fourth the word and finally fifth word so come back students so i believe you all all found what i have this slide just before please write that in your of note and send that to me don't fail to send that to me okay clear okay next now i'm going to give little instructions about your midterm exam first term exam be clear about it, okay so for this we are going to have some kind of duration usually it's like morning i'll give you the link and then before 7 or 8 pm you'll send me that answers right not in whatsapp it's actually in google form everything there but this time it's not like that we'll give you the duration and you have to complete the answers your answers within that duration clear so your exam comes from 25th of this month and your english exam is on 27th 27th january so you know the portions right yeah we have like three chapters from your students book and the same workbook and then nine chapters from your grammar book it's not the very big chapters small small chapter so i included nine chapters clear so be prepared be prepared 
and be on time because you have to get ready before 10 minutes. So for English 27th January Wednesday, the timing is like 10 to 11. Clear? 10 to 11. 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. So you have to get ready like 9.50 a.m. You have to be on time. We'll send you the question paper. Please take a screenshot of it and start writing. Okay, be prepared before 10 minutes and till now I don't know whether where to write the examination especially on your booklet or your notebook or in some paper but I'll inform you as soon as possible but most probably for my suggestion please write down in some kind of paper because we need that as a manuscript we need that we will get you from that we need your answers in manuscript form so we please write down in some kind of need paper okay don't write down in some kind of rough notes write down in need paper because we need that as a hard copy so first thing please take the screenshot of the question once it reached in your class group take the screenshot of it and start writing in your paper start writing the answers okay answer sheet mention your name there your class and then your subject and then your school so please write down there and after 11 o'clock so the timing is like 10 to 11 right so you have to send us the snap photo of your answer script within 20 minutes after you completing the exam. For example, you have to send me at 11.20. Between 11 and 11.20. Clear? Don't be more farther from that time. Maybe it will not accept it. So, you have to send that snap of a photo of your answer script at 11 o'clock till 11 20. your timing is like 11 to 11 20. please don't go farther of that time because it may not be accepted and after that we have given you timing please bring that written answer sheet to the school on the day uh, for English, answer sheet on 1st of February along with the other answers. Totally have four subjects, right? You have to bring all answer strips on 1st of February. Clear? Have given your time. Please submit that in your class. I'll get from her. Okay? So, this is the procedure. Get ready at 9.50 a.m. And the exam comes from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and you have to send me the snap or photo or scanned copy of your answer script to my whatsapp number within 20 minutes after you complete your exam that is between 11 a.m. and 11 20 a.m. clear so the answers after that are not accepted so be quick and be sharp in your examination then the snap or photo must be very clear so better take the choice of scanning you have scanning apps please send that in whatsapp so this is all about examination and examination instructions and rules not beyond this about the paper i'll inform you later so this is the procedure your exam dates Please don't come in some other time and asking me about answer script. Please, this is the timing, this is the timing, this is the timing. No answers after that will accept it. No. Clear? So, okay, so this is all about exams and exam examination rules and regulation. Clear? So, now let's move to our worksheet. That is workbook, page number 24 and 25. Please take your English workbook, page number 24. So there, worksheet number 3, naming words. is all about naming words. For example, they have given there before. Name. What are all naming words comes under? 
animals then things places clear so birds reptiles and those things comes under animals things and places this is all about naming words so give me an example for yeah they are given rani puja animals zebra lion cuckoo then snake things table chair pen places karangal india mumbai school park this also comes in a places so these are about these things so here they have given you more words and asked you to fill in that blanks clear asked you to fill in that blanks so the words are like boy bread chair city fish manvi grass india mountain park parrot rabbit sister snake toy and uncle i'm going to read the words and we are going to find the word each word comes under which column in column animals column things column and places column so these are the columns here so we are going to place that in a right column so clear so i think let's start so we totally how many words are there four for names and four for animals and four for things and four, four for places so totally four plus four plus four plus four how many 16 yeah so now we are going to differentiate that into columns first word boy boy as boy is a place things animals so the next word bread is a bread is a living being no does it have flesh and blood no so this must comes under things or place so bread is not a place so bread is a thing so let's write bread here b o r e a d so the next word is chair again the same thing does chair have flesh and bone and blood no so that must comes under things or places right so it's not places so it must be things c h a i r chair so the next word is city city again the same thing does city have flesh bone or blood no so that must comes under things or places city think about it city is that things or place things in the sense object is that city is a object no it's a place so we should write it under place so the spelling of city is c i t y city so the next word is fish yes fish has bones blood and flesh so that doesn't come under things or places so that must come under or animals that it comes under animals i already said that animals in on animals we have fishes reptiles everything so here this comes under fish f i yes h this is the next word is manvi manvi so manvi manvi they are see there m stands with capital letter so that must comes under names or animals so names manvi yes it's a name of a girl so m a n v i so manvi so the next word is grass grass no blood or flesh things place is that a place grass is a place 
In park, we have grass. Park is a place, but not grass. So, grass comes under here. G R A S S. Things. India. India. It's very obvious. India is a place. So, here. I N D I A. India. Mountain. Mountain. It's not an object, so it's a place. M O U N. N T A I N Mountain Park. I said just before example. Yes, park comes under places. P A R K. P A R R O T. Parrot. Next word is rabbit. Yes, rabbit is B B I T. Rabbit. Next word sister is I S. T E R sister. Next word is snake. It comes under reptiles. So here animals. S N A K E snake. Next the word is toy. toy. Under things T O Y toy. And the last word uncle. Uncle. Yeah, U N C L. E uncle. So we got answers like people, people in the sense boy, mommy, sister, uncle are all people. We have a specific formation, human beings, then animals, and here things and places. So under person, write down these, under animals, write down these, under things, write down these, and the places, write down these. You can fill that in your book, workbook. Clear? Yes. So, okay, children. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.